everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Jasmine aka budget treasures and in today's video we are going to be stuffing my home work sinking funds if this is your very first time joining uh, one of my videos welcome thank you so much for joining me if you are here for another video hey girl how you doing <laughs> so we are going to be stuffing our homework sinking funds I'm super excited because uh, we will be closing a squirrel hopefully in about a month and a half uh, the expected close date is I think February the 12th or somewhere around there. So I have been saving money for the down payment, yes, which is I save separately in a separate savings account. However, for certain things that I, you just wouldn't necessarily think about um, when moving, I have started to save for those things. And if this is your first time, you will be able to see what those categories are. And I'm really glad that I, you know, thought of this because um, when it's time for me to move, I know that I'm going to have all of these expenses that I'm going to need right away. And I did not want to be caught off guard and have to use money that was not intended for that purpose. So that is the reason why I am saving money in sinking funds for these categories. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to take All right, so I am going to be stuffing prop money today because I just didn't feel like going to the bank. So um, we are still, you know, we still got our prop money that I'm gonna be using as a placeholder. And the next time that I do a video, I will be switching the $50 prop money out for the real $50 bills, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So first we are going to be stuffing our first month bills. And if you are new here, the reason why I created this envelope is because once I move, I'm going to need to turn things on, water, gas, cable, if I get cable and, you know, different things like that. And they may have like an activation fee or something like that. So I want to be prepared for that. And I need to have $500 saved for this. And currently I have 350 so I am going to be adding $50 to this envelope and that is going to give us $400 so just if I haven't noted I'm only gonna be stuffing $50 bills today so let's add that 100 200 300 20 40 50 400 dollars now all of this money is real and then this is the prop money here, okay? All right. Next is going to be groceries. And for the grocery envelope, I'm going to need to buy groceries when I initially move in. And I'm probably going to need to do like a really big grocery store run where I'm buying seasonings and all that good stuff. So that's why I have this envelope and we're at 498. I only need two more dollars to make this a total of $500. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my handy dandy uh, cash envelope uh, wallet here, Ruby. And I'm gonna take $2 out of my dollar challenge. I'll put it back another day. <laughs> So I'm gonna add, oops, I'm gonna add $2 here and then this is gonna make $500 and this envelope is complete. 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, we are all set. This is all real money, no prop money in here. And we are all set to go grocery shopping when we move. I'm super excited guys. Like I have never been this prepared to move before in my life 
just never I've always like gone into debt moving taking money that I didn't have to move but we are making great progress here so moving expenses one thing that I also had to remember is that whenever you move you're gonna have to get a u-haul unless you know somebody who will move you for free unfortunately that's not gonna be the case for me this time I really don't want to bother anyone I want to get a mover I want them to move my things and I also want them to set up my bed and all that good stuff so I'm gonna be adding $50 to this envelope count what we have here 100 200 300 20 40 50 and then this makes $400 so a lot of you guys told me on the last video that getting a mover was totally worth it and I believe you <laughs> I believe you I talked it over with my mom and I was like hey I thought about getting a mover and she was like oh yes I was gonna tell you to get a mover <laughs> I'm like I'm on it moms don't even worry all right, next is inspection. So once again, if you are new here, my house is being built. And, you know, a lot of you guys told me that it was a really great idea for me to get an inspection done on my own. And I am going to heed uh, your advice and I am going to do that. So today we're adding $50. So this is going to be $375. So let's count this. 100, 200, 300, 310, 320, 325, 375. So the goal for this is, well, I said the goal was 300, but I'm just going to keep adding money to it because I really don't know how much it's going to be. I'll probably know more in like January how much it's going to be because that's when I'm going to start reaching out to people home goods so this envelope is for all of those household items that you need around the house a mop um what else <laughs> washing detergent cleaning um products all that good stuff that you just need around the house um that's what this envelope is for and um, I actually bought a vacuum cleaner and we took $343.49 out for the vacuum cleaner and I added $50 to this envelope and we we ended with $87 so I'm going to add $50 to this envelope and let's count what we are going to have. I really should have took the $2 from here. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this $2 and I'm going to put it back in my one dollar envelope let me just put that to the side so let me subtract two dollars too and let's count this 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 wait hold on let's count this again. 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 120 130 135 so that's what we're ending with today. 135. The goal for this envelope is $500. We might get there. We might not get there. But as long as we have some traction, that's good. Next is home savings. So this envelope is actually for my bedding. I want to invest in some real quality bedding for my new home. Normally, I don't invest in good bedding sometimes i'll go to macy's or bed bath and beyond and i'll just get like a bed in a bag and i probably won't spend no more than a hundred dollars on the bed in the bag however this time i really want to make sure i get quality sheets because having rest is so essential and i want to really focus on self-care this upcoming year and a part of self-care is making sure that what you're sleeping on is comfortable and so that's what I'm going to be doing. 100, 200, 300, 50, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4. So we got $411. And that is the bedding envelope. All right, and the mattress, I did purchase my mattress, so we are all done with the mattress envelope. And then the kitchen, I wanted to buy some pots and pans, and I did purchase pots and pans, and so we're all done with this envelope as well. So we are all done with stuffing our envelopes. You guys, please let me know if I'm missing out on a category. Um, you guys really have great ideas, and if I'm missing out, please let me know. I really, I feel like I'm missing out on something. So please just remind me. I know that a lot of you guys said like, um, a lot of you guys said home repairs and things like that, but that sinking fund is going to be in my regular sinking funds. This is just the sink, the things that I need when I first move like right away so that's what I'm talking about when I say my homework sinking funds this is everything that I'll need initially on the move so thank you guys so much for stopping by and hanging out with me on this video I will see you in the next one go be great peace out